Morning everybody. Yeah. It's been another week of the mouth being open. And uh if I zoom in like this into the sea, the brown water is really really deep in there. And the amphalosi came down again, so I'm sure that all this brown water is a result of that. But you can hardly see any blue on the horizon. There's a thin little strip right at the back. Okay folks, like I mentioned in my video this morning, I'm back on the high tide. But uh, how amazing is this to see this metamorphosis of the sea. So you can see this color line here. And the blue water has been pushed in by the northeasterly wind that's been pumping today. And you might hear it on the mic. Um, but what's interesting too, the birds are working that color line so hard. There must be lots of uh, predator fish kuta and stuff like that feeding on that line. I reckon if this stays like this tomorrow, the boat guys will have a field day. But it's incredible to see the, the difference. Okay, I'm down here on the low tide. You can see still lots of debris being washed down by the rivers and so on. But um, what's interesting, if you see there where that reed is going, it's quite a lot of sand there. So basically a sandbank formed there. So not sure exactly now where the channel runs, whether it's there or it actually comes across here to the left. And uh, should that block up, well, that'll be bad news for the, the estuary. But you can see the water is still flowing relatively strong um, on the low. And you can see how deep it is. If I cut across here to the right, you can see those people standing there. And you can see how tall they are. And you compare them to the right-hand bank here. Um, you can see that's uh, it's pretty deep on the high tide. But I will be coming back on the high to see what it looks like then and I'll combine the two videos together but uh, yeah still straying, flowing very strong and uh, as I say the muddy water goes kilometers into the sea you can see that reed there just about the just below the birds okay guys so uh, you can see how hard this is you can see the bank again you can see people standing down there bank here is uh, really steep look at the shadow you can see how steep it is and where I am standing here at the top and it runs across like that and if I scan across and you look at the water you can see there's a color line so you got that uh, chocolate brown on the southern side and then this toffee color on, on uh, the northern side so the chocolate water is coming out of the Amphalosi over there and then the toffee colored water is coming out in the lake system over here. Yeah, I think I'm down on the high tide. You can see what it's like there. But uh, yeah, it's still pretty deep, guys, which is very good. You can see the clay banks still left over from the last time it opened. You can see a big section of reeds is gone. See the guy walking down the bottom there. And you compare him to the bank on the left hand side, you can see it's uh, quite high, so it'd be interesting to see on the high tide. Okay, again, if we go back to the original video and uh, the opening of the mouth, you can see again on top of the northern bank, you can see how much the sand is actually moved south. And that looks like it should be on the high. And you can see how the seawater is trying to push against the, the current and it's creating this rapid there in the middle of the of the channel. And uh, so this is created by the water that's coming down by the Amphalosi there. And 
the water coming down through the, the lake system. Remember the lake system water has been assisted uh, by the northeasterlies that have been blowing the whole day. So it's pushing a lot harder than normal. But uh, remember folks, tomorrow is full spring. Um, so it's not quite as full as it'll be tomorrow. As you can see, uh, lots of debris still lying around. And over there in the corner there, we have a couple of chaps trying to catch a fish or two. Um, yeah, I've been told by one of the skippers that uh, on the low tide, um, this channel is about three meters deep according to the fish finder. So I'm guessing now it's probably about five meters deep or so. And if you look here where this wave just washed through, they're on the lip there. That's where I was standing this morning. So again, very interesting. As I scan around towards the ski boat club, you can see how the water's pushed right in here. Over those clay banks. Until the next video, folks, be safe, everybody.